I cried the whole time and I kid you not I was crying because it was painful like hey guys and welcome back to my channel so as you can see today I've got a different background different backdrop scenery whatever you want to call it but the reason is because some of you may not know already and some of you may know but I recently moved to Lisbon so I'm in Portugal <laughs> so I thought it would be time for me to do a little life update slash Q&A about you know where I'm at what I'm doing who I'm with all that good stuff but yeah quick disclaimer I actually filmed this video yesterday but like the quality came out good and stuff but the sound was just rubbish I'll put in a clip so that you guys can hear so I guess my title is junior account manager in the digital marketing industry here so I was in two minds because I was like right, do I just go with it and then just like leave it like, as it is and the sound's just a bit because uh, the sound would be good for some parts and then it would go down for other parts so it was just absolutely diabolical but then the other part of me was like okay maybe i just keep like the video like footage and then just do a voiceover over like what i'm saying but then that wouldn't really fit because you know my face will be saying one thing and then my voice is like it's not in time and i'd feel like i'd rather just put something out there that's good quality quality because if i had put that out i wouldn't have been happy with it so i just thought let me do it again and more or less say what i said in yesterday's video so let's get right to it i think it was like a week ago on instagram i just put one of those polls up and i said um, you know send me your questions I'm gonna film a Q&A so I've got quite a few questions luckily for you guys I didn't get an awful lot of questions so I'm gonna be able to answer every single one so shout out to my friends who sent questions in because y'all are the plug <laughs> so first one I got is what are you doing there how long are you there for what's the next plan or destination and can I come First of all, Sham, of course you can come. We need a girl's trip plan. That needs to be on the list next. So we'll say that's next. So the first part, what are you doing there? So I'm here in Lisbon and I'm doing a digital marketing internship. Um, so my actual job role is a junior account manager and basically I work for a digital marketing agency. So I'm doing like the social media side of things. I'm working with different clients, doing their marketing campaigns. You know, we activate ads on Facebook Instagram online as well we do things like creating their ads for them we're doing like boring stuff as well like writing the reports you know the analytics but I'm just doing that sort of thing so it's it's like the type of job I do want to do in the future and it was good I guess that I've gotten I've got this internship so I can get like my foot in the right door and um, how long are you there for it so it's a three months three month internship I came to Lisbon back in September and then I'll be leaving next month in December so it's just three months really short but just the right amount of time and what's the next plan or destination um so hopefully the next plan is to now secure a full-time adult grown-up job so I have started looking around and I'm hoping to find something preferably back in the UK and um, maybe in Scotland but also maybe even in England so again I am looking for like digital marketing social media advertising that kind of thing so if anybody knows anyone who's looking for a new employee you know send them my way because I'm not secured anything so I'm a free agent so if you want to if you want to holler at me send them my deets do that do that help a sister out because you know I need some coins I need some pee I want to plan holidays for next year and to do that I need money so yeah so next destination so I guess next destination is back in Scotland but I'm hoping to get I mean I don't know if I would want to work abroad again but I don't know about Portugal maybe other places but we'll see what's in store what do you miss the most about uni how are you finding adulting <laughs> so what i miss the most about uni is probably all the free time that i had <laughs> like in my last year in my third or fourth year my timetable was lit like i think i would only have uni like three days a week and sometimes on those three days i'd only be in uni like for an hour, an hour or two and i lived like five minutes away from uni so it was the dream like i would literally have 
all the time to do like to go work and get some money i would have some time to do a little bit of youtube that i was doing i had some time to just chill like i was living my best life so i definitely miss all the free time and also living really close to my friends because you know you could just text somebody be like come through or you know let's go to Primark let's go shopping let's do this so I definitely miss having my friends within like an arm's length whereas now it's like I just need to catch a flight to go and see them and that's a bit long but yeah and how are you finding adulting do you know what actually I feel like now I've, adjust, I've adjusted, now that I've been working for a few weeks or months and you know I've been out, out of uni for a while, I do feel like I have adjusted now so I'm, in, I'm enjoying this adulting thing. I wish I had more money, I won't lie, but then I guess that will come once I have secured a job. So, but yeah, it's not going too bad. Would you consider moving to Portugal? Um, I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think so. It's been good fun uh, for like a short time. I actually came back, you know, I came on holiday to Portugal a few weeks ago. I didn't come to Lisbon. I was in like the south of Portugal, the Algarve and stuff like that. And then now I've came to Lisbon. So I've seen like a different part of Portugal and it is nice. I definitely, definitely would come back for a holiday. But um, living here, probably not. I feel like... I'm just so used to the UK now. The thing is, when I was in the UK, the thing is, the grass always seems greener on the other side and I've definitely learned that. Like, you know, when I was in the UK, I'd be like, oh, it must be so nice to live abroad and like away. But now that I've come to live abroad in another country, I'm realizing we had a good back in the UK. Like, for example, certain things here are just so expensive. Things like um, laundry soap, detergents, washing soap, cleaning products, things that you would find for like 59p, one pound and pound land and home bargains and B&M. They don't have that here. They don't have that here. So if you even want things like painkillers, those be for a pound, you can't get that. Painkillers are like seven, seven euros. I remember um, I was with my work colleague and he was getting sick. So we had to go to the, the pharmacy to get some, some strep cells. So you know in the UK strep cells are like one pound maybe two pounds if you go to the i don't know like boots or something <laughs> here there were seven euros and i was like lord jesus please do not let me get sick in this country because i will not afford i will not afford to get sick like i i cannot afford to be buying these products so i definitely like i definitely appreciate all those things back in the uk so considering just things like that the expense is it the expense of living i think so I just I don't think I would want to stay in Portugal long term and also just speaking to other people you know I've heard things like maybe the pay, the average pay just isn't as good as like maybe what you would get for the same job in the UK or like in another country so I just don't think it's for me another question is most challenging so yeah just as most challenging so the most challenging thing about being here I would say one thing was that was challenging was this one week when we ran out of hot water, right? So the thing is, here in my flat, we use gas to heat up the water. So our gas, the thing is, once the gas is done, you have to call the company and they'll deliver like a gas canister that same day or the next day. But ours finished and we were calling up the company and for some reason, they couldn't deliver and I think it was because nobody was in the house because the people I live with we all work every day Monday to Friday 9 till 6 so nobody is ever in the house during the day and the company only delivers during the day they don't deliver and only during the week as well they don't deliver at the weekend so we just kept like missing them or you know nothing was getting through so this one week yeah no actually it was like two weeks for these two weeks you guys we had no hot water like when it came to washing dishes i'd have to get a pot boil the water because we also don't have a kettle so i'd have to boil the water on the stove which took about i don't know 15 minutes and then rinse the dishes with this warm water but boy when it came to taking showers like the first time it happened because i think the water finished as i was in the shower so i the shower started nice and hot and then it started getting colder and colder and i'm like nah this is not right so i wrapped up and i was done and I'm like, okay, it's cool. We'll get the next gas lover tomorrow. Tomorrow came, I hop in the shower and it was freezing. And I'm like, wait a minute. And this was in October, so it was starting to get cold. 
But I'm like, nah, this is not happening. But I was in a rush because it was Sunday morning and I was going to church. So I was like, right, I'll just take my cold shower and keep it moving. It's not the worst thing in the world. Monday came and I'm thinking, right, surely like today we'll get hot water or we'll get, we'll get, yeah, like it'll be fine again. So I was like, this is my last cold shower. You know, I have to shower before work. I wasn't going to go without showering. So I took my cold shower and I'm like, yeah, so water is coming back today. I get home, there's still no hot water. You guys, I had to start boiling water in the pan and the pots as well to fill up my bucket so that I could go get a hot bath because I was done with those cold showers. I'm not going to lie. The first, I think the first few cold showers I had, I cried the whole time. And I kid you not, I was crying because it was painful like that that shit hurt like my body was aching i've never cried so much in my life that that week was brutal no that two weeks was brutal eventually we just called the landlord and somehow he got gas delivered that evening so i don't know why we didn't do that sooner but anyway that was really challenging i think that was definitely the lowest point of being here in portugal that was brutal mate now that you're a working woman how do you balance work and social life um how do i balance it probably not the best to be honest <laughs> um so like i work every day from my company's quite flexible so i work every day from like 10 until about six half six sometimes seven it, it depends on the day but um usually when i get home i'm just so tired like i don't even want to talk to anybody i don't want to i barely even want to talk to my flatmates like i literally just want to go home have my food and then go to sleep so during the week i don't see my friends too often because i just i don't have time for it i'm just drained and exhausted whereas for some of them you know some of them work like 10 until 2 or some of them work maybe one monday tuesday wednesday or some of some of them work like 7 till 3 so they do have a try time later on in the day and in the evening so they can't afford to do stuff but for me I'm just drained and exhausted and I can't be bothered but at the weekend I do make up for it so I will make sure that I do see my friends at least you know Saturday or Sunday sometimes even both but I try not to like shy away and just keep to myself all the time like even sometimes I know it can seem draining to be like oh let me go out with them but once you're there like it's always a good time so I always I always do try and make effort to see them during the day during like the weekend would you recommend working abroad? Um, do you know what? Yes, I would. I feel like it's been a good experience. Um, I'll once I finish like this internship and move back home, I probably will do another, like, like review my slash my experience of working abroad and film that for you guys. Just because you know, I don't want to say too much about the job right now. Um, because you know, I still work there. <laughs> So I would rather wait till I was done and then really, really tell y'all how it is. But um, no, I would 100% recommend working abroad. Like I've made some incredible friends. The people that I came out here to Lisbon with, like we're such good friends. I honestly think we will be friends after after we all go back home and it teaches you to be independent you know you when you're at home or in the same country as your parents I think a lot of the times it's easy to be like let me just call mom and dad they'll sort this out they'll fix this they'll send me money they'll come and help but when you're abroad you know your parents can't just quickly hop on a flight well maybe they can but not often <laughs> not often can they quickly drop their stuff to come and hop on a flight to help you do you know what i mean so it teaches you to be independent which is good and i am enjoying like being an adult in a new city in a new place meeting new people so i would 100 percent recommend working abroad and also it will probably look good for your cv and the other thing I always think is I'm never going to get this chance later in my life. Like as in once I'm married and settle down and have kids, God willing, I'm not going to be able to just pick up and be like, I want to go to Lisbon for three months. Do you, know, do you know what I mean? If I've got a husband and children, I can't just leave them. You know, I would have to like consider all the finances and, you know, schools and all that other important stuff. So now when I'm single and young and, you know, I can be selfish, now is the time to just take those opportunities and go. So I would 100% recommend working abroad. And also do your research because there's so many different opportunities that you can go abroad with, such as you can go abroad to study you can go abroad to get work experience you can go abroad to actually work you can go abroad just to even travel but i will leave the link 
in the description box for the company that I went with because they provided so much for me um you know they found the job for me they provided my accommodation they sorted out the flights they gave me mon money monthly as well so they really taken care of me and the people like the you know like the coordinator coordinators they have been really helpful so i will leave the link below so that you guys can check that out because they have so many other options it's not just lisbon that you can go to you can also go to seville in spain you can go to even dublin if you want something close to home and actually it's funny funny because seville was actually my top choice but somehow i ended up in lisbon so look at god look at god <laughs> Three tips you would give someone considering working abroad. So this might tie in a little bit with that last question I was saying. But first thing is do your research. Um, like I said, there are so many companies out there who offer opportunities to go to go abroad to study, to work, just to live. So do your research and find the right company. You can find companies who will provide your flights, accommodation, give you money, so you're not having to go too much out of your own pocket to be going abroad. Um, the second thing I would say is find a job that you like don't just don't just jump at the chance if you just see abroad don't just be like I'll take that one look for something that you actually would enjoy because chances are if you do end up going abroad you're gonna be there for a certain amount of time most likely at least a month at the minimum so if you're doing some horrible job that you don't enjoy that one month is gonna be the longest month of your life so find something that you really enjoy and like i said there are so many jobs out there so many opportunities so many just so many different things so you can definitely find something that is suitable for you something that is right up your street so do your research um the third tip I would give someone is save, save, save. Take, have a good amount of money saved up because depending on what country you go to, things aren't always gonna be as cheap as the UK, you know? Some countries don't have home bargains. B&M, Poundland, all my faves, they don't have. So, uh, I thought I was recording, but turns out I wasn't. Oh, this always happens to me, right? So the battery finished, and so I had to change it and put, turn the camera off, turn it back on, and then I started talking and I thought it was recording. I wasn't even recording. Anyway, so yeah, the angle might be different as well. But, but anyway, back to the question. The question was, um the tips you would give someone considering working abroad so i was saying make sure you have money make sure you have a substantial amount of money because when you get to this new foreign country you don't want to have like five pounds to your name you know when you go abroad you are going to meet new friends who want to go out for drinks go out for food they want to go sightseeing they want to go exploring and chances are you want to join them so you don't want to be like always the one who can't go because you don't have money fair enough yeah sometimes you will say no and i'm not saying go and spend your money every single minute every single day but there are things you're gonna want to do and it would be such a shame to miss out on those things because you don't have the finances so i would definitely re recommend saying if you're going to be working abroad in the next few months and you know it's coming up get yourself a job right now whether it be a part-time job or if you do have savings save them and get some money because you'll thank yourself later you don't want to miss out on those experiences and bonding with your new friends because you couldn't go so I definitely recommend that so I thought it would be <laughs> so I thought